All right, folks. So what we have here is the new Yaesu FT500D. It's a dual band uh, mobile radio that does FM in digital mode, specifically Yaesu System Fusion digital modes. It uh, has three power settings, 5 watts, 25 watts, and 50 watts. What we're going to do in today's video is we're going to connect this up to a tiny spectrum analyzer. We're going to hook that up to our computer so we can see what's going on. And we're going to do what's called a harmonics or spurious emissions test. And basically, it is to test to see if this would pass any FCC regulations in terms of purity or cleanliness of its emitted signal. So stay tuned and uh, we'll get started. Whenever I'm working on a project that needs fabrication services, I look no further than PCBWay.com. PCBWay.com has many fabrication services, from PCB prototyping to development to processing, assembly services, CNC milling, and even 3D printing. PCBWay.com also has a module store where you can get components that you might need or tools for your assembly. And if you have any questions or need help in any way, check out the help portal on PCBWay.com. So here's the setup configuration for our test. We have the radio here, the FTM500D, and we have a small coaxial cable. This is 316 that comes from the radio and then goes into the big ass attenuator. This attenuator is rated at 100 watts and 40 dB. Now that attenuator goes into the small ass attenuator and this is a 10 watt 10 dB attenuator. So between the both of these, we have 50 dB of attenuation, which we'll have to account for in our tiny SA. And then we have this going into the tiny SA via another piece of 316. The tiny SA is connected to our computer via this USB C cable, and we will be using the tiny SA app in order to do our measurements. Let's take a second to review the pass-fail criteria as defined by the FCC. This looks like a lot, but it's really not that bad. And it starts off by saying the mean power of any spurious emission from a station transmitter or external RF power amplifier transmitting on a frequency between 30 and 225 megahertz must be at least 60 dB below the mean power of the fundamental. The next thing we're looking at is for a transmitter having a mean power of 25 watts or less. So when we talk about the 500, over 25 watts, it's going to need to be 60 dB below. And then below 25, equal to or below 25. Then the uh, spurious emission supplied to the antenna must not exceed 25 microwatts, which is negative 16.02 dBm. And it must be at least 40 dB below the mean power of the fundamental emission, but not be reduced below the power of 10 microwatts. And 10 microwatts is negative 20 dBm. And then there are some exemptions built in. Any transmitter built before April 15th, 1997 or first marketed before January 1st, 1978 is exempt from this requirement. And this is going to be our setup for the testing that we're going to do. What I want to do is take a couple seconds real quick to make sure that my tiny SA is configured for the test. So you can see the tiny SA screen here. So the first thing I'm going to do is activate the menu option. And then I'm going to go to level and I'm going to go to external gain. And it was already set for 50, but what I want to do is do negative 50 dB times one. And what that's going to do is that's going to account for the attenuators that we have in line with our signal. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to activate the menu again. I need to go to the top menu. From here, I'm going to select measure and then I'm going to select harmonic. And then I'm going to type in the frequency that we're going to test. 146.52 megahertz. Okay, now that our tiny SA is set up correctly, we're going to go ahead and we're going to key up. And what happens when the signal first goes into the tiny SA is, is it does a period of normalization. And so we're just going to wait for that to settle in. Now we're set for low power on the Yesu radio. And what you can see here is, is that we have our fundamental signal, which is marker number one. And it's at 146.4 megahertz. And that's just a result of the number of data points that we have on the screen. There's no need to panic or worry there. And we don't have any harmonics that are showing. So like all Yesu radios that I've tested, this one is a uh, very clean. 
Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and change to the mid power setting and this is 25 watts. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to key up and we're just going to give this one second to normalize. And once that does, we don't have any harmonics or spurious emissions on here and we are clean at the medium power setting. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the high power setting and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to key up. And again, this is going to take a second or two to normalize. And again, we are very clean and it gets a pass here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to a frequency in the uh, 70 centimeter band. We just tested the two meter band. Okay, we've set up our tiny SA to go ahead and do the test for the 70 centimeter band. We just did the two meter band. And our frequency that we have selected, you can see on the screen here, is 432 megahertz. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to key up. And we're just going to give this a second to detect the signal and then normalize. And while it's going through that, I wanted to mention that when we took a look at the pass fail criteria, it only went to 225 megahertz. So there is an absence of a requirement for harmonics and spurious emissions on the 70 centimeter band. But uh, that's okay. We just want to go ahead and we want to test anyway. And so this is a very large sweep given the size of the span. It goes up to 3.8 gigahertz. So it's going to take us a couple of seconds to get through this process. Okay, and now it has fully normalized. And what you can see here is that the radio is clean and it would pass any criteria if it was the same for the 70 centimeter band as it is for the two uh, meter band. So let me go ahead and we'll go ahead and we'll change up to our medium power setting. And we'll key up and we'll give it a few seconds to normalize. And it looks like we're going to come out clean on this one as well. Let's go ahead and go up to our high power. And now we are keying up. And everything's normalized. And what we can see here is that the signal is also clean on high power at 70 centimeters. With that, we're going to wrap up the video. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. It's greatly appreciated. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks, everybody.